guys are going to be breaking down the Packers versus Rams game coming up tomorrow's afternoon game slot should be a good one two teams that are going to be desperate for a win obviously the Green Bay Packers lost to the Vikings by a final score of 34 to 31 last week in a shootout absolute outstanding game to watch obviously a tough loss for the Green Bay Packers um, you know but it was a good game all around both teams are throwing big heavy punches obviously the Vikings threw the last punch being able to kick that game winning field goal as time expired in the fourth quarter there um, the comeback fell a little bit short for the Green Bay Packers squad. Obviously, the Los Angeles Rams are coming off their bye week. Um, you know, heading into the, their bye week, they had a two-game losing streak, so they're going to be hungry for a victory. So it's going to be two, two of the top teams in the NFC fighting and scrapping right now to get back in the win column. Uh, right real quick before we start breaking down tomorrow's game, you guys, if you go ahead and like this video, if you like sporting content like this, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you're looking for more sporting content like this in the near future. I've been getting a lot of support lately from you guys, man, and I greatly appreciate it. We're going to keep coming out with as much content as possible here. But without further ado, you guys, let's go ahead and start breaking down this game. We'll start off with the injury report for both teams here. I guess we'll start off with the Rams since their injury report is a lot smaller than the Packers. Um, they got cornerback Dante Dion, questionable with a thigh injury. Um, obviously, he's one of their back-end uh, cornerbacks. I've never heard of the guy myself. Same with their wide receiver, who's questionable, Ben Squaronic. Um, he's questionable with a back injury as well. Obviously, he's one of their bottom-end wide receivers, maybe their fifth or their sixth option. Um, so they pretty much got a full healthy team right now. They're not missing a lot of guys uh, due to injury. Um, and then you go over to the Green Bay Packers side of things, you guys, and we pretty much got half our damn team out with injury right now. Um, some of the guys who had the possibility of playing who are not going to be in this, this game, David Bakhtiari is going to be out this game. Um, obviously, with that knee recovery, he had to go and get... Uh, get it like a little mini surgery done to clean up some stuff inside that knee. So I would not expect him to be back until probably the Bears game after the bye week, maybe even the game after that. Um, they're going to want to be careful with the guy and make sure that he's healthy and ready to roll for the playoff stretch. Um, so he's going to be out for this game. Rashawn Gary's questionable with that um, sprained elbow. So we'll have to see if he is end up ends up playing. I believe he was a full participant in practice on Friday. Um, so I would expect him to play. I know he wanted to play in last week's game with that elbow brace on, um, and they never let him go. So I'm assuming he's going to be playing in this weekend's matchup, which is going to be huge. He's been one of our better pass rushers so far this season. Um, he's been real stout in the run game as well, so it would be huge to have him out on the field. Um, Aaron Jones, shockingly, is questionable with a knee injury. I thought he was not definitely not going to be coming back until after the bye week. Um, seems like he's healing and progressing quite nicely, so he might be able to go in tomorrow's game. I'm honestly hoping they sit him out in this one, you guys. I don't think it's worth risking um, further injury on that knee, um, especially when we got a bye week coming up next week. Just give the guy some extra time to heal up and get ready for that stretch of games heading into the playoffs there after the bye week. Um, Kevin Kane's doubtful with a hip slash knee injury. Not that big of a deal. He's been playing better this year, um, but I'd still say he's one of our weaker cornerbacks. Um, I do like, um, you know, Having uh, Eric Stokes out there for us, I think he's uh, pretty good at, in the starting position. Um, can't think of the guy's name off the top of my head right now, but we picked him up from Arizona. He's been outstanding for us um, so far this season as well. Um, so I like what we've gotten from some of the additions that we've added to the cornerback room, so I don't think that's too big of a deal that Kevin Kane's out of this game. Um, Lazard's questionable with a shoulder injury. You know, that's one's not too crushing of a blow either. If he doesn't play, obviously having MVS back in the fold, you can see how big of an impact he made um, in the game versus the Vikings, keeping us in that one with a couple of those long, long bombs that were completed by A-Rod to MVS there, obviously most notably that touchdown that tied it up at 31 apiece with two minutes to go in the fourth. Um, you know, and then Malik Taylor, another wide receiver on the back end uh, for the Green Bay Packers is going to be out with an abdominal injury. Um, so not a huge deal. We still got all of our top end guys. We still got, uh, like I said, MVS is going to be a go. We're still going to have Randall Cobb out there. We're still going to have Devontae Adams. A.J. Dillon's ready to rock. So I still think we've got enough weapons on the offensive side. Um, you know, it's just going to be a matter of if that defense is going to be able to hold up and hold them to a low enough amount of points for us to be able to come out with a victory in this game, you guys. I'll uh, we'll go through some of the keys to the game here between the Packers and the Rams. We'll start off with the Rams again in this one. Um, one of their keys to the game, I think, is going to be getting pressure on Aaron Rodgers, make him uncomfortable. Um, you know, get him forced outside the pocket, make him make some throws on the run a little bit, obviously with that fractured uh, pinky toe of Aaron Rodgers. 
if they can get any pressure on him and force him to move outside the pocket, it's going to make his life a lot more miserable in tomorrow's game. Um, you know, he's going to want to try and stay within that pocket and not have to move around too much, try and alleviate some of the pressure on that broken toe. Um, so I think that'll be a huge key to the game for the Rams. Um, Rams defensive front, if they can get a lot of pressure on Aaron Rodgers, get a few sacks and get him uncomfortable early in the game. I mean, that's going to help them. Um, down the stretch, being able to take home the victory against the Green Bay Packers. Um, another key to the game for the Rams will be no turnovers for Stafford. Obviously, the last couple weeks before the bye week, he was a little bit turnover prone there. Had a few interceptions, a couple pick sixes. Um, you know, so making some some mistakes that you're not used to seeing from Matt Stafford with the LA Rams. These are more mistakes that you were used to seeing when he played for the Detroit Lions. Um, you know, some of those mistakes are starting to show up a little bit here in the last couple of games that he did play. Um, so that's going to be a huge key to victory for them as not turning the ball over anytime the Green Bay Packers have won the turnover battle. They they are undefeated so far this season, so it's going to be huge for the, that L.A. Rams squad not to turn the ball over and give it back to the Aaron Rodgers in that offense. Um, and then the last key to the game for the L.A. Rams, you guys, is going to be winning the time of possession battle. Like I said, keeping Aaron Rodgers off the field, um, especially being the away team in this game. They're going to want to, want to have their offense out there as much as possible, try and get that run game going. Um, take a little bit of pressure off of Stafford and get that play action pass going down the field. Um, obviously, OBJ's going to be, um, you know, more involved this this week. I would expect, obviously, having that bye week, getting more acclimated to the offense. Um, you'd expect him to have a little bit of a breakout performance here. So we'll have to see what Sean McVay's got uh, drawn up for him to get involved in this game. Um, but at the end of the day, if they can win that time of possession battle on us, you know, I think that the Rams are going to have a good opportunity to win this game against Green Bay. Um, and then some of the keys to the game for the Green Bay Packers, you guys, like I said, with the turnovers with Stafford, you know, can't turn the ball over for the uh, Rams to have a chance to win. The Green Bay Packers need to get some turnovers here to be able to have a chance to win this game. Like I said, we are undefeated this season when we win the turnover battle. Um, you know, should have had a couple interceptions against Kirk Cousins last last week and unfortunately just weren't able to complete the catch or we got that terrible roughing the passer call on Kinsley Kiki that ended up taking away an interception from us. Um, you know, so if we can, we can win that turnover battle, I think there's a good chance that the Packers can come out victorious in this game. Um, you know, and Stafford has been turnover prone the last couple of weeks, um, going into his bye week there. So if the Packers can keep that trend going and get a couple interceptions on him, I think that'll be going a long way to help the Packers get the win in this game. You guys, um, another key to the game for the Green Bay Packers is going to uh, be keeping Aaron Rodgers upright. Obviously, losing Elton Jenkins to a season-ending ACL injury is a very unfortunate uh, string of luck for the Green Bay Packers here. We're still missing Josh Myers, our rookie center, um, who's still on the IR with that knee injury. Obviously, David Bakhtiari had to get some stuff cleaned up in his knee, so he's going to be delayed a couple weeks coming back now. You know, So that offensive line is starting to look a little bit depleted for the Green Bay Packers. Um, you know, we're going to need some, some guys like Josh Nyman to step up for us, um, you know, and just have, have some big time performances in this game, obviously with that Rams pass rush, it's going to be huge for us to be able to, uh, block well, pass block well, and be able to uh, keep Aaron Rodgers upright in that pocket, especially with his injured toe. You know, we don't want to have to have him scrambling around too much. Want to be able to keep him in the sit inside that pocket, get the ball out of his hand quickly. Um, you know, give them some nice, quick, easy routes to throw to as well. Not having everything so deep down the field. Just get the ball out quick um, and get some completions on this uh, Rams defense. Will go a long way for the Packers being able to move the ball down the field. Um, and then the last key to the game for the Green Bay Packers, you guys, is going to be running the football. Um, obviously, we're questionable with Aaron Jones in return, but we got our big bruiser back, A.J. Dillon, who's had a real nice season so far. Um, I think this guy needs to have 15 to 20 carries in this game. I really want to see him get a heavy workload. Um, he's obviously a good pass catcher out of the backfield as well for us. Uh, but I think it's going to be huge to just pound on that uh, defensive front of the uh, L.A. Rams um, with the football. Obviously, the Rams gave up a lot of yards. I think they played the Colts before they finished off their uh, their uh, stretch of games before they went into their bye week, and they just absolutely ran the ball all over them. So I think that's going to be a huge key to the game for the, for the Green Bay Packers, being able to establish that run game early and often. Um, which will help us win that time of possession battle as well, keeping Matthew Stafford and that Rams offense off of the field. So that's it. pretty much wraps up this video, you guys. Should be a good game here. Um, I guess I'll give you guys my final score prediction. Um, I am a Packers fan. I really hope the Packers win. I just, I got to go with my gut instinct here, you guys. And I just think with all the injury woes 
catching up to the Green Bay Packers. Obviously, we got a bye week coming up next week. Maybe, maybe our head's not quite in it this week. We're kind of looking forward to just getting some rest and getting some guys healthy in the bye week. Um, and the Rams coming off back-to-back -back losses and then heading into their bye week. I just think they're going to be playing with more desperation than we are in this one. Um, obviously, the new addition of Vaughn Miller as well as OBJ on the offensive side of the ball for them. I just think it's going to be too much for this depleted Green Bay Packers squad to overcome in this one, even though we are on our home field. I think it's going to be a close one, but I think the Rams are going to be able to hang on for the victory, you guys, by a final score of 27-24 over the Packers. Uh, pushing the Packers to 8-4 and four on their season, heading into their bye week. Um, but I do think the Green Bay Packers are going to be able to come out and win a nice stretch of games after that bye week uh, coming up next week. So final score, 27-24 to 24 for the Rams, you guys. I really hope I'm wrong as a Green Bay Packer fan. I hope the Green Bay Packers pull off the upset and get the victory in this one. But I'm going to go with my gut instinct here and take the Rams. Um, got the bye week next week for the Packers. Rams got an opportunity to get a stretch of wins here. They got the Jaguars coming up next week. Should be an easy victory for them. Um, especially if they can close this one out against the Green Bay Packers. So, like I said, that pretty much wraps it up for this video, you guys. Um, would love to get your guys' opinion in the comments section down below. How do you think the Packers, or what do you think the Packers' chances are of winning this game uh, tomorrow against the Rams? Um, you think we're going to be able to prove to 9-3 and three record heading into the bye week, or you think we're going to be falling to 8-4? and four? Would love your guys' opinion in the comments section down below. Once again, you guys, I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video and every video on my channel. It means a lot to me, man. Please go ahead and like this video if you like sporting content like this. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you're looking for more sporting content like this in the near future. Thank you guys for watching, man, and this is Nizzy with Nizzy Sports Channel.